when I was a kid it was kind of conservative though, although I lived outside a lot, I climbed a tree, I read a lot, I uh, was drawing with a ballpoint pen or a pencil on a note paper mostly. That's kind of where I started doing art. Uh, and also playing with tape recorders, you know, recording things off the radio or different weird sounds. Mm -hmm. use color for quite a while uh, but I've always been a big fan of color but uh, then you know I had um, kind of a traumatic personal situation so I had a really hard time painting with color for a while so uh, now I'm getting back into it again and uh, I uh, really enjoy uh, taking a paint roller and just kind of applying big strokes. Uh, a lot of the lines and the movement come from uh, working with a figure, which I've been doing for uh, quite a while. Use color that opens us up to emotions as well, because uh, each of us has a very different personal relationship with different colors. However, uh, combining things, putting them together, creates a sense of space and a sense of a certain time or gesture uh, that really, I think, uh, can be very evocative for different people, maybe different ways. Like uh, I had a show at McCormick Place where recently the audience was, uh, it was an interior design show for the home, the ideal home show. And there was a little girl that was there, and she uh, said, what is that painting about? And uh, I was there with my friend, the artist, who I was showing with, Darren. And she said, why don't you squint and look at it and tell me what you see? And she said, I see uh, Paris, and it's a spring day, and there's a picnic, and people are sitting around, and, you know, obviously, this wasn't directly what I was painting, but she was evoking a mood that she picked up from it, what this painting brought out from her vision. So it's uh, not really complete until somebody's looking at it. Mm -hmm. 